tag team match here on Amped as the team of the high-fiving fat guys take on the very unlikely duo of True Grit Bruce Gray and Pompano Joe. And look at who's starting this match up here. Bruce Gray and John Murray, the longtime former tag team, and they kissed that bye-bye a long time ago. As the Smart Bombs Deluxe uh, once again face off in the ring in this tag team match. But Rockstar Nation, they love them some fat guys. I think the fat guys just wanted to dance it out with Pompano. And I frankly can't blame them. He's got some sweet moves. As Gray and Murray lock up in the center of the ring momentarily and again. Now these two, they know each other so very well. They faced off in the buffet tables match after Smart Bombs Deluxe imploded on one another. Oh, Bruce Gray not falling for that high five. Oh, and Murray takes him down. Murray off the ropes. Oh, he's just going to walk right over top of him. And that's a lot of weight right on the back of Gray. Throws him into the ropes. Up and over goes Bruce over top of Murray. Oh, he ducks the clothesline attempt. Murray catches the boots. Oh, catches the punch. Oh, he goes for the high five, and uh, Bruce Gray is done having games here. And here comes Pompano. Oh, wait. And Pompano wanted to give a high five, but uh, he met the rump, the posterior of Murray instead. Oh, <laughs> no. No, no, no. Uh, not a smart move to go for the bump bump, Pompano. Bradley Abrams in the ring now, going after Pompano Joe. Here comes Bradley. Oh, he meets the boot from Pompano. Joe off the ropes, into a cross body. Pompano hooks a far leg and only gets two. Oh, there it is. Bust a move now, Pompano. You know, it was shameful how Bruce Gray cut off the entrance music of Pompano Joe. I mean, he was about to bust a serious dance move. And wait a minute, Bradley Abrams instead takes down Pompano. He's got him up. And again, drops him down, driving Pompano into the corner. And here comes Bruce Gray. And Gray, oh no! Manhattan drop, and oh no, there's the atomic drop, dropping Bruce Gray. Abrams with a lateral press, but only gets one. Oh, and now Bruce Gray lining it up with the nitty. Here it comes. Misses the gritty. Abrams has him. Oh, and there he goes again. As Murray continues to coach on Bradley Abrams. Wait a minute, there's a thumb to the eye by Bruce, and a right hand drops him. Uh, Bruce Gray, he knows how to cut corners in that ring. And now, wait a minute, he's pulling back on the hair, ref. The referee now tells Bruce Gray to let go, which he does. Oh, and a big forearm shot drops him. You know, it's a shame Bruce Gray's even in this match. This match would have been an awesome affair filled with high fives and dance moves and snacks. I would have loved it. But Bruce Gray instead trying to tie up Bradley Abrams. And he's got Bradley in the center of the ring. Oh, and drops a boot right on the back of his head. Gray goes for the cover. Only two, though. Pompano wants in, and he gets in. I'm surprised Bruce tagged him in, as he seems to have animosity for his own tag partner. Oh, wait, Pompano wants to dance. He doesn't want to punch. Well, he does it anyway. 
And now Pompano dancing right on top of Bradley. Abrams turns him over into a lateral press. Only two, though, as Bradley gets his left shoulder up. And Pompano now tags in Bruce Gray once again. Oh, big boot from Gray. Oh, and Bradley almost fell into the right spot, but Gray there to cut him off before the tag. Bruce now goes for a cover. Only two. <laughs> Rockstar Nation, they want to see John Murray get tagged back into the match. Oh, wait. They hit heads there, and both of them go down. Let's see who recovers first. This could be Bradley Abrams' chance to make a tag. Gray rolls over to his corner. Here comes Pompano, followed by Murray. And Sean Murray, he's a house of fire right now. Oh, he's got him. Oh, no, but Pompano gets out of it. Joe now off the ropes. Bump, bump, down goes Pompano. Oh, I want you to show me. There it is. John Murray takes him down. Oh, damn. I, I, I stole his line. Sorry. A scoop and a slam by John Murray takes him down. Big leg drop. Here's the cover. Only two. Man, John Murray's so talented. The man can dance. He can sing. He can wrestle. He can eat snacks all at the same time. It's incredible. Oh, Pompano misses that back suplex. Oh, Murray has him. Buffet bomb. There it is. Here's the cover. Two. No, not enough. Pompano gets his shoulder up. And now Murray tags in Bradley Abrams. And where's Bradley going? Oh, we've seen this. Watch out. Oh, no. Pompano saw it coming and evaded. Pompano. Springboard into an elbow drop. Incredible. Here's a cover, too. No, not enough. Wow, he put all of his weight into that elbow drop. Pompano going for the homie driver 99. Wait, Bradley reverses. No, Pompano has him into the back suplex. Oh, bust a move, Pompano. That's too legit, baby. Oh, Bruce Gray tags in, but Pompano hits the back senton splash. And now, wait, Gray's got a chair. Come on now. Hey, Raph, watch it. Raph. Oh, Beef Hammer on the ring apron. And now Murray takes the chair. Thank goodness. And now Bruce Gray, he's in a bad spot now. Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Murray just threw the chair in Beef Hammer's face. And there's a car crusher on Bradley. What's going on here? Wait a minute. Wait, Bruce Gray drags him to the center of the ring. There's the cover. What's happening? Come on. Well, wait a minute. John, I don't believe what I just saw. John Murray just turned on his high-fiving fat guy's partners. No, wait a minute. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that Bruce Gray and John Murray are on the same page once again. No. Wait a minute. Murray puts up the hand. No, Bruce Gray says no high fives here. Oh, no. John Murray and Bruce Gray appear to be on the same page once again, and I don't believe it. And now Bruce Gray, he's got Beef Hammer. He tossed him back in the ring, and watch out! 
No, no! Auto bomb! Oh, come on! Well, the tag team division. You can add another team to the list. Look at this. John Murray and Bruce Gray again united here at Rockstar Pro. Oh, we need some help out here. We need more security. Come on. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, the Monster Abyss is in the house. Gigi with an announcement. What a surprise. The man that gets a title shot at Blacktop Battle is here. You know, for a long time, I've heard just how incredible this rock star pro wrestling organization is. And after walking out and seeing all you great fans, I was right. This is the place for the monster of this to be. This is the place for the monster of this to carve yet another niche. And I want to let you fans know, this won't be a one-time appearance. Oh, how about that news? The Monster Abyss will be back on a regular basis. Wow, what a bombshell. You never know when, you never know where, but I'll be here. Now that brings me to Friday, June 5th against Ron Mathis. And I understand Ron couldn't be here tonight. And my first thought is, how lucky is Ron Mathis that he wasn't here tonight? Because I wanted to stand right in the middle of this ring and look him right in the eyes and let him know that on Friday, June 5th at Block Top Battle, I'm gonna show him, I'm gonna show you I'm going to show Rockstar Pro what real hardcore is. Ron Mathis, you say you're God. Well, on June 5th, even God's not going to be able to save your ass. On Friday, June 5th, I'm showing up with my tax, my glass, my barbed wire, and my girl. Oh, you guys know my girl? Oh, you guys are a great crowd. I knew I was right. My girl Janice will be here. She's sharp as a nail, man. Let me tell you, nothing gets by her. On Friday, June 5th, it will be Monsters Ball. And that is my match. That's the match that I created. And that's the match that I'm gonna end Ron Mathis's career in. And oh, I almost forgot. I'm gonna take that belt with me too. So thank you fans for allowing me a few minutes. Get your tickets now, because the carnage will be here on June 5th. Ron Mathis, all you great people, Rockstar Pro, you're gonna find out just what a monster I can be. You heard it here, Blacktop Battle on Friday, June the 5th, Monsters Ball Match. The Monsters.
Mr. Abyss challenges Ron Mathis for the Rockstar Pro Championship. Def oh wait, uh, Dave Christ defends against Nate Wings. Oh, sorry about that. I was reading a fan's shirt there. And what a main event this promises to be. Two of the best high flyers in all of Rockstar Pro. Nate Wings, the former Luchacore champion, looks to regain the gold here tonight. As Nate Wings has Dave down on the mat. Dave does, doesn't look that impressed with this hold early on. It is the very beginning of the match. Dave trying to find a way out. Oh, and he does. And he turns Nate inside out in the process into a pinning situation, but only gets one. Oh, Wings, nice reversal there. Has his arm in a hammerlock position. Dave rolls through, kips up. And now he is the wrist of Nate Wings. Now Zachary Wentz watches on ringside, cheering on his father, if you will, his teacher, Dave Christ. Zachary originally was going to be in this matchup, but Nate Wings asked for this to be a singles one-on-one -on -one Lujacor championship match. I'm sure young Zach Wentz will get a shot in the future, whether Wings or Chris has the title. Oh, Wings takes him down and grabs the head of Dave. Oh, beautiful reversal by Dave. Well done. Going back to the wrist of Nate Wings. Just beautiful back and forth chain wrestling with these two great, well-rounded competitors. Zachary Wentz with a, a nice jacket and tie, but over his bare chest look. Uh, maybe I should wear a tie and no shirt one week. I don't know. Maybe not. His wings with that abdominal stretch applied, but Dave picks him up, and Dave swings him around. Oh, but Wings reverses it into an arm drag. Man, Nate Wings so quick. Dave trying to roll back up to his feet, but Wings will not allow him to. Dave instead rolls the other way. Rolls through, and that's a good reversal by Dave into a pin, but only gets one. And Dave now right on top of Nate Wings. We talk about how much of a high flyer Dave Christ is, but this guy could get it done on the mat as well. Driving the face of Wings into the mat. Oh, Oklahoma roll will be. No, only two. And Dave stays right on top of him. Gator roll by Wings, and now he is the arm of Dave. Oh, Wings doing some damage to the arm of Dave Chris driving his knee into it. Nate trying to turn him over, trying to get the shoulders down on the mat, which he does. Here's a pinning situation. Only two. Wings staying on top of Dave Christ. Dave, though, picks him up. Oh, sunset flip by Wings, two, and Dave gets out. That's an aggressive kick out by Dave. Dave now trips the leg of Wings. And now Chist with the advantage. Oh, I mean Chris. Uh, I, I keep reading that shirt. Wings now trying to get out of the hold.
Oh, and Wings reverses it, and now he's trying to go after the arm of Dave Christ. Dave locking hands, though, as the referee checks on the shoulders of Dave, and now Wings has the arm. Dave gets to the bottom rope, which forces a break of the hold. As Zachary dances without a shirt on, but with a tie on. Kristen Wings go to lock up in the center of the ring, but instead Wings goes after the arm of Dave. Now Dave driving the elbow right into the head of Wings. Ooh, Wings with one kick gets out of it. Nice kick by Wings. Nate with the cover, but that's way too close to the ropes with the likes of Dave Christ. Wings dragging him back to the center of the ring and now tying his legs up, I, I believe. Hard to tell from this vantage point. The, the bodies are blocking my view. But it appears Nate has the leg of Dave Chris Grapevine. Oh, and he's got the other leg trapped with his arms, but Dave with the reversal. And now Dave picking up Nate. There's a deadlift. What's he going for now? Oh, Wings will never know as he hits an arm drag instead. Shoulders down momentarily, but it's only one. Dave gets the right shoulder up. Arm drag again by Wings. Now you can just tell by this matchup here. This one has a feeling of that this may go a while. These two know each other very well, both on the mat, in the air, you name it. They've faced off many times in singles and tag matches. And so far they have kept it to the mat. Oh wait, here's a pin by Dave. Only two, reversed by Nate. Again only two, back and forth they go. Dave picks him up. Another arm drag by Wings. And Chris goes to the outside. Well, both of these high flyers, they love fast-paced offense and so far it's mostly been kept on the mat which both of these men are very good mat wrestlers as well an underrated skill that both of them have both of them known for their high flying but you would definitely think if the pace quickens like it is now deja vu by wings and he takes him down and it might be time to fly now wings off the ropes goes through into a hurricane run and Dave over the guardrail. Wow, just like that, the pace quickens. Oh, watch out, wait. Wings, don't tell me. Springboard over the guardrail, wow. Taking out Dave and taking out the first two rows. My God. Crazy dive by Nate Wings taking out Dave Christ and Nate back on his feet. Nate Wings not afraid to throw caution into the wind as he uses his whole body as a weapon and he drives Dave back first into the guardrail. And there's a super kick taking him back to the ringside area. From my vantage point, wait a minute, crossbody, Dave catches him. Oh, and slams him down. What a move by Dave Christ. Now Dave taking some punishment here. This is an American Luchacor Championship match. Anything goes outside the ring in this contest. 
There is a 20 count outside the ring, and the title can change hands on a count out. But both men outside right now. Dave has him. Oh, what's going on here? And he tosses wings on the ring apron. Well, what's Dave doing now? Dave looking at Nate. Well, what's this? Dives through the rope. Oh, my God. Wow. An insane dive by Dave Christ from one side of the ring through the other, tackling Nate Wings to the ground. And now Nate does one of his own into a DDT. Wow. Unreal. What a matchup. What a main event here tonight on Amped. Wings tosses Chris back in the ring. Goes for a cover, hooks a leg. Could be new champion. No, only two. Sabu, Yusuf, and you're watching Rockstar Pro Wrestling. Chris so vicious. He's called a killer for a reason. He wants so bad to retain that American Lucha Corps championship. Oh, Nate holds on. Up and over, he takes Dave. Dave lands hard on the outside. And it could be time to fly once again. Watch out. Wings, suicide dive connects. Wings, he's not done. Over the top and crashes right on top of Dave Christ. Wow. And Wings still not done. Moonsault. Incredible. Three dives in a row right on top of Dave Christ. This could be Nate's opportunity. Tosses Christ back in the ring. Wings, if he hits one more big move, he might have victory. Crossbody through the ropes. Springboard. Oh, he hits the moonsault. Off the ropes he goes. Into a DDT. Dave is down. Wings goes for the cover. He has it. Hooks a leg. Two. No, not enough. Only two, Dave kicks out. Nate lining it up. Oh, falls right on top of him. Will be enough. No, he's not done. Rolls through. Moonsault. This could be. Cover. Two. No, not enough. Wow, inches away from a new champion. Wow, what a matchup we're witnessing. Wings calling, crawling back into the ring. Dave with a kick. Nate could be out on his feet as Chris now picks him up. Falcon Arrow drives him down. Both legs hooked will be. No, only two. And again, Dave driving the elbows. Oh, and now hooking the arms. Oh, what's he doing here? Oh, and he's got a cattle mutilation. Well, I said shades of Brian Danielson earlier. Now we're really seeing it. But Nate, too close to the ropes, gets his foot on the bottom rope. What a main event here tonight. Type of action you see each and every week. And remember, Dave Christ will be facing Davey Richards at the Blacktop Battle Eye Pay-Per-View on June the 5th. You will not want to miss that one. 
And Wings now, wait a minute, he's, he's got it set up, could it be? He's going for it. Split leg, 450, he hits it. This could be all. There's a cover. Two. Is that it? Oh, no. Dave gets his foot on the bottom rope. Wow, that was a very, very close. Nate Wings a hair away from winning the gold. Man, I'll tell you what, that's as close as it's going to get right there. Nate Wings so close to winning the American Lucha Corps Championship once again. Ooh, bicycle knee. Drops Dave. He could be out. He hooks a leg. No, only two. And Dave immediately goes on top of him and again drives the elbows. And Dave just vicious here tonight. Oh, my gosh. Dave again going for cattle mutilation, and he's got it. This time in the center of the ring. Nowhere for Nate to go. He's got it locked. That's it. That's it. Sensational matchup. What a main event. What a night. A brilliant effort from Nate Wings, but in the end, it's the killer himself. The Sam Hain Witch Killer, the King of Dayton, Dave Christ, retains the American Lucha Corps Championship.